welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. I want to welcome all my new viewers and subscribers. And for all my ongoing viewers and subscribers, I want to say that I miss you guys so much. It's been about a week now. I didn't post anything. And I want to share a very, very good news for me that today marks one year to the exact for me on YouTube. So I'm very happy about that because I get to meet all you beautiful and wonderful people. It, very encouraging, really nice people out there. And that was my whole purpose of starting this YouTube channel because I wanted to reach out over the world and I wanted to share my recipe and food with everyone. So today, and since this is December, I'm gonna be sharing my recipe with you guys for sorrel drink and for those who don't know what sorrel is i will show you guys that this is something that we always make on christmas time in guyana and um throughout the whole caribbean people make this drink as a christmas specialty so for this month i'm going to be making lots of recipe regarding christmas and a lot of baking and guyanese traditional food for christmas so if you come on down with me i will show you guys my version of sorrel drink so guys this is the sorrel i already washed it one time but i have it soaking in some water and this is some um, just regular room temperature water you don't want to put it in warm water for it to start um drawing all the flavor so i'm leaving it in this water for a few minutes just in case if there's any dust or anything they will um, fall out of the sorrel so for those who don't know what sorrel is it's a flower and this is how it looks like in here there is a little um a pod but um usually when you buy it they will take it out so you all you're getting is the flower and look how beautiful that is Lo looks a little bit like the hibiscus except for this one doesn't open that big so this is what you you draw and make that drink with and for all my friends who already know what sorrel is i hope i bring back your memory from some back home traditions and this is the fresh sorrel and today i'm going to be doing two version i'm going to be doing one version of the fresh sorrel and for those who can't find fresh sorrel there is also the dry ones and i have it here and they come in different packages um this is what it looks like when it's fresh like i just showed you and, and they have them pretty much in all the stores now i see them in walmart i see them in um, no frills all the grocery store have them coming on to christmas in the international aisles i did find my dried and fresh one in charlie's west indian store in mississauga and that's on um new ontario close to dundas so i'm gonna just open this and let you guys see my version so this have um, a lot i'm not gonna be making all this but i'm gonna show you first the how i start the um the fresh one and i have some ingredients here to add into it if you notice i have two sets i'm going to be using one set for the dried and what this is for the fresh so in the fresh one i'm all i'm going to be using with it is some cinnamon sticks some clove about eight to ten cloves and some brown sugar and i will show you as i go along so here i'm going to add my cinnamon stick and you can put cinnamon stick to your desire i like to put a good portion and like i said i'm putting eight to ten cin um, cloves so i'm putting that and the water is already boiling and then i'm gonna drain out my sorry let me get my big strainer so i'm draining them out like this and look how fresh they are just like when you get them from back home my mom used to have this in her garden. That's how I um, wash mine and I just put them into here. And what I'm gonna do, I will let it cook in the water for about um, five to 10 minutes. Not a long time, you'll see the water will start getting red. And then you know that it is um, drying out the flavor. So I, I didn't remember to mention that I have about eight cups of water in this pot. That's like a gallon of water. 
and sorrel is usually a very very sour um, drink so while I'm drying this in the hot water I like to put some brown sugar so I'm gonna put about a cup of brown sugar and then you still have to sweeten it at the end of the whole process because it's very very sour and you can always put sugar to your um, desire you can taste and keep adding to your desire but at the end of it i'm gonna let you know how much sugar i put all together so here in this pot i'm gonna do the same thing same process add my cinnamon the clove eight to ten cloves or cloves of for your desire or taste and what i'm gonna do at this point here i'm gonna add the dry sorrel you don't wash the dry sorrel so I'm going to add in here because this is dry. I'm going to add, that's two cups. I'm going to add about two and a half cups. I can see the water is getting pink already. Can you yeah. see Jess? So I'm going to add about two and a half cups in there. And this is about, I think I have six cups of water in here. And because this is dried sorrel and it's not so fresh, I'm gonna add a piece of ginger. And this is optional. I just wanna add some extra flavor to bring out that real nice flavor in this sorrel. You can pound it, you can grate it, you can cut it up however you wish to add this ginger. I'm just gonna quickly pound it like that. And I'm gonna add it just so it can um, infuse in here. And I'm gonna add one cup of brown sugar as well to, to boil in here with the um, sorrel so we're gonna get a nice flavor in that and this as well I'm gonna do it for 10 minutes this one is going real fast for some reason can you see just yeah it's already pink and just five to ten minutes and then let's check this one here so now I can see this one is starting to lose its color but um, I will show you after 10 minutes how both of it look. So after 10 minutes, this is how, if you look in the spoon, you can see how the color of the water is. And it's drawing all the flavor from the sorrel. This one here is the fresh one. So what I'm going to do now, you can let it go a little bit more. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off my stove. And I'm going to let it sit in the the um, water until this is cold so it's gonna still keep drawing out more flavor and for the dry one I'm gonna show you how that one looks so this is how the dry one looks all the dry the sorrel is on the bottom now but look how dark red this one is so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn off my stove and then same thing I'm gonna leave the sorrel in the water until this is cold before I sweeten it and serve it and before I start pulling it out into my um, jars. So we'll come back when everything is nice and cold. So here is the fresh sorrel drink. This one I just sweetened and you can add sugar for your liking. So I already add enough sugar for my liking and this is what it looks like when you strain it out. So it has this light red color, but it's done here. So I'm going to garbage this. I'm going to pour out some in a glass to show the difference between the fresh one and the di difference between the dry one. And I'll test the flavor and let you know what I think about the two different flavors. So here is our dried sorrel drink. Um, I still have to strain it out properly and this is what it, the um, sorrel looks like when it's boiled into the water. So it's a little bit more now hydrated but um, this is what the juice look like, the drink. So I'm going to strain it out and then we shall do a taste test. So here I have my favorite Christmas drink which is the sorrel. And right away, you can tell which one is the fresh one and which one was the dried one. So this one here, the darker one is the dried one. And this one here is the fresh one. So I have two different versions of the sorrel drink. And I'm going to put...
put some ice in there and I'll taste and let you guys undecided of which one to pick. I like to pack it with some good ice inside because that makes it nice and cold and refreshing. So I am I'm in the middle of choosing which one first. So since this one is closer to me, I'm going to go ahead and try the dried one and um, let you guys know because this one have a hint of ginger as well. So just I'm going to taste. It looks delicious. And I'm stirring that ice in well. So cheers guys to all my viewers and subscribers, those who remember Sorrel, wherever you're from, those who doesn't know. Step by step how to make this drink and it's very good at Christmas time. So let me do the test now and let you guys know. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. This is like drinking liquid Christmas in a glass jar. <laughs> guys, this is so, so refreshing, so flavorful. That hint of ginger. Just have a nice mixture with the sorrel. So now I'm going to go for the other one. And that one is the fresh sorrel. And this one have like a wine color. A light, little bit lighter, but... Cheers again, guys. Mm. Guys, I have to take another sip. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. So refreshing. So the memory is so filled by like Christmas. So guys, if I had to choose, I would have to give both. Like I have to say they're tied. Because this one have that nice ginger hint. And this one have the freshness of the sorrel. So hope you guys find some sorrel this Christmas season. If you can't find a fresh one, the dried one can do the same job. And you will remember that very, very same memory from back home Christmas. So until then, a lot of Christmas recipe coming up. So hope you guys give me a thumbs up for this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I have a lot more video coming. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed. Bye for now.